Hey guys, and welcome back to a new Let's Play. For right now, I'm taking a break from uh, Magical Theories. For those of you watching my Magical Theories Let's Plays, for now, it's taking a back seat as I prepare for the next episode. We've been in a new state, but today we're doing a Let's Look At, possibly by the beginning of a Let's Play, depending on how this works, how well this works, of a game I've recently found called Dig or Die. Now, this game is a is a 2D um, adventure game. I have played a little bit of it, not very far. But one big thing I am noticing is that this is exactly what I wanted Terraria to be, what I wanted Starbound to be, what I wanted Minecraft to be. It is 2D, like Terraria, but the impressive part about it is what happens in the game. And I'm not going to spoil it, I'm just going to show you. So let's get in here. Start new game. We're going to go on easy because, as you can see, the difficulties are extreme I will be doing e I will be doing easy for now but we will be seeing what happens in the we will be seeing what happens further on with this let's play if it does become a let's play but we're gonna load into the world which does not take very long at all this is my character we're gonna make his hair green because I like green his eye color is going to be green as well since I like green I like everything else about this guy. He's fine. I've seen through all the settings. This is pretty much three is my favorite hairstyle, really. But we're going to say confirm, head into the world. You are a representative of Craft & Co. and selling automated fabrication tools across the galaxy. You crashed on this alien planet. Wake up, Captain. So this is our ship. As we can see, we have crashed. I don't want to stay in this wreckage forever. us to worry about staying alive. I don't really know if there's a way to get him out of there. But the first thing you want to do after you get in is start to collect resources. Now, the world does randomly generate. I have never, that's the first time I've ever had that big drop off there. The first thing you want to do is you want to run around and collect all this, this material I'm picking up, which is scrap metal. These are flying bad guys that shoot you. Killing bad guys, they have a chance of dropping loot. They don't always drop loot. But you do want to kill some of them. Do not kill everything you see, though. For as the game will sell, explain to you, when you go try to kill some, when you try to kill something you haven't killed yet, once you kill something, it will start to attack you at night. And at night, you get bombarded. And here's one thing I really do like. Rain actually causes water to collect on the ground. Eventually, you start running into that problem. But I have a, a good, decent plan for a strategy or for a base that I've been wanting to build. Which is why I'm showing you a new game and not just continuing on with the game that I had. So we're going to dig into this a little bit. The first thing you want to do is you want to start digging like this. He's going to dig his way up to me. Which is annoying because then that means the bad guys from underground are going to be able to get to me. If he ends up actually digging up here, it looks like he's giving up. If he does get his way up here, that's fine. Um, the first thing you want to do is go down to this bottom tier and turn all that material you got, which was broken, metal, which was scrap metal into metal. He's going to dig his way up here, so I'm going to meet him part way so that he doesn't have, he doesn't get rid of all that material. And then I'm going to drop down here. I'm going to grab some dirt. I'm going to never pull my whip back up. Hopefully they don't do that again. They have a tendency to do that a lot, where they'll break into your base any way they can. That's one way, reason why you can't just seal yourself in. And then we can make automated turrets. But you want to put these down here. But this is the beginning of the game. The first thing you want to do is you want to make your base because at night, like I said before, the creatures that you have killed will come and attack you. Any of the creatures that you, any creature or type that you have killed. So since I've killed those flying insects, they'll attack. The um, running creatures on the ground will attack. These guys over here, this little guy right here, you can kind of see him in the darkness. Um, he'll, his, his species will attack. 
And those two are basic. They'll always attack you on the, starting at the beginning and will not stop. Alright, that should be more than enough. The reason I'm doing this is that these tiers will help me stay, keep the bad guys out and the water out. Eventually what I want to do, and I probably should work working on it now, is I want to set this up to where the water can escape down into this little trench down here. Because you do, you can drown in this game. You do have to breathe. I've only played through this twice. This is my second run, and this is the first time I've tried to build a um, base that had this tiered style so that the water doesn't get me. I thought about it during the last base. As he's, ta he's talking about the insects giving off energy, that's what he's trying to point out that they can, that you should kill some, which then they eventually drop those blue crystals, which then you can use the blue crystals to obtain useful, um, to craft the gun, the defensive guns. He's kind of giving you a tutorial if you, if you're going to play this for yourself and, and you don't want me to spoil everything, I would suggest following him. There's not much to spoil. This game is in early access, I will say that now. But what I've seen so far of it, I love. This game is amazing. The only thing I have found annoying so far is that once I get to a certain point, I can't figure out what to do next. And I don't know if it's because I've gotten really unlucky before with the spawns, but or what's up. Alright. So, the next bit of information. Well, first let's cover this. I have 100 health. It's up here in the right-hand corner. You can... It, You'll be able to tell what your health is. Um, this is a flashlight. It's currently on. If you watch, I can go to the darkness and it's lit up. If I click this, it turns it off. I can turn it back on. Right now, it doesn't have any um, uh, power usage. I hope they don't ever change that because that would be really annoying. If they do, they need to find. They need to make it to where you can generate power really easily. I, was, I, I thought that eventually, originally, you were going to need power for your turrets because I've seen some video when I watched this game first, but we'll head up here now. I um, still don't have enough power crystals to upgrade that. I can make these. These are healing potions. Um, I think I just used one. Crap. Um, yeah, I did. Darn. Well, that's okay. Um, they restore 30 HP instantly. Your character naturally regenerates health over time, so if you are um, injured, just don't get injured for a little bit, you'll regenerate your health. Um, yeah, the next thing I want to do is upgrade my gun. I mean, upgrade my, um, material. Not my gun, not my material. The, um, the auto builder, this thing. So, the way this works is you have to have three crystals and an auto builder mark one. This is an auto builder mark one, and it's in here, so you're good. Really, they should just have it to be where you just need three energy crystals to make this. You shouldn't need the auto builder, but it says you do, but you don't have to have it in your inventory. There's no way to craft things directly from your inventory. At least not at the beginning of the game. I don't know if you can gain it later or not. But we now have three crystals. So we'll run back here. I'm at Mark Mark 1, and as you can see, we gained a whole bunch of stuff. Next, we need red ferns. I cannot figure out where these were. I've been looking for these and I can't find them, but hopefully we'll find them eventually. We can make this, which is the Gatling turret. It fires a little bit faster than this one, but this one has 360 degree vision, where this has a small little, like, cone of effect. But it's very useful for the base design I'm working on. Um, this is, like, the most, this is the plasma machine gun, most effective gun in the game that I've found so far of these three guns. This is as far as I've gotten before with technology-wise. I've survived several nights, but this is as far as I've gotten technology-wise. But, the next thing we need to start doing is making concrete. But to do that, we need stone. To do that, we need three power to increase our materializer.
really this game is more of a and you saw this on one of the on one of the you if you looked at the difficulties when I was looking at it before um, one of them says, is a hard difficulty that says dig and this is this turns the game from dig or die to dig and die this game does have an ending so far um, give me a second and I will explain that part I gotta kill these bad guys first but the main goal of this game obviously is to survive every night well that's the initial goal of this game actually the main goal of this game is to eventually leave the planet. You can build a rocket ship at the near, the last thing you do in the game is build a rocket ship after you've upgraded your technology enough and you can leave the planet. This game kind of reminds me of a combination of Terraria um, oh, it's getting dark. I better head back. The guns kind of give you a kickback. The shotgun gives you more of a kickback than this little um, blaster I have this rifle I have. Alright, here we are. So now we're back to the base. We're gonna go ahead and in here. These guys will attack the roof and they'll dig their way down to me. They're kind of annoying in that way. I kinda wish that they would vote that they would that they would that they wouldn't dig that there was a way to make them not dig because it's kind of annoying that they dig through it. I mean, I guess you could always just seal yourself in if you could do that, but I kind of wish that if they, there was a route to you, they would prioritize using that before digging. But I guess that just kind of adds to the difficulty of the game. Okay, now we can make a mark too. There they are digging down there too. Ooh, crap. I didn't have my right. I didn't have my gun into it, but. You can kind of go ahead and take damage. I found that you're not really going to suffer too much from these guys. These guys are the easiest bad guys. Like I said, these guys attack no matter what, so they're pretty much... These guys are just there to make it to where you can't just sit there every night mining and collecting resources and building an infinite supply of base. As you can see, the turret up there is um, uh, eliminating a few of them. The flyers give off light, so it's they're kind of it's kind of handy because then they can't they can't sneak up on you. Not like those, not like these, not like these guys. Two shots will kill them. They're pretty easy to kill, and that's the night. It's congratulations on surviving our first night. It's not that like I said before, it's not that difficult. Surviving the first night is not the hard part. It's what comes after that. And he's digging through my roof again. Before I go up there and handle him. The real big issue I find with them is not that they dig through the roof and not like they, that they try to get rid of it. It's that they destroy the block. So as you can see, this, this turret's taking damage. The one thing about this game right now that I think is really generous of them, if you mine it and then put it back, it's fully restored with health. I don't know if they plan on changing that, but if they do, that's going to make this a lot more difficult. Alright, so this is um, concrete. It's a little harder than the wood. You need to get stone and dirt together to make it. But what you can do is, like I'm doing, you can replace your flooring with it. You can put it on your wall, on your ceiling to keep yourself protected. What I should do is I should get a lot more wood. Because even though wood is, fra fragile, is fragile, it's still slightly better than dirt, in, the, in my own opinion. Because you don't have to worry about replacing it. Because it's easy to replace it. I'll show you that when I get enough concrete to replace some of this. But this is going to let me replace that. It also makes it to be where if, they ever, if, if the bad guys ever do mine through the, the surface and get to me, I won't be losing um, dirt. Which, you might say, isn't wood more precious not really because dirt there's a there, it's a finite quality technically there's a finite material of it technically now the turrets these turrets work anywhere there's um, they, they don't need a power source the way I said the way I said that they could make it kind of difficult is um, if you could mine your ship and the AI bro drops as a block and you could place him and then he gives off energy that would be an interesting idea Here he comes, he's coming down. 
course he wants to be difficult and put a hole in my roof. Gotta repatch up this. There we go. Oh wait, no. I wanted to place wood there. There we go. Now we've encased ourselves in wood and a little bit of concrete. Not much concrete though. But if we might, if we go down here, we can go get some stone, which is what I need to do. One thing you could do to kind of um, improve your defenses is like um, you could do what I'm not what I'm doing, not do, not do what I'm doing, and mine away from your base, so that your base has a thick layer of dirt and stone around it as well, or at least on the underside of it. The one thing that I feel like is if they're going to make it to where you, that, you, that um, the items can, the turrets can be broken, they need a way for you to repair it. Because what I've found is that it doesn't matter that you can pick them up and place them down, um, and they have full strength. Um, in later nights, you're not going to be able to, you're not going to have that much time. That's also another reason to replace the ceiling with wood instead of leaving it dirt. Now it's not leaking through. But now we can get more concrete. Uh, we got enough time for a couple more for another night. Now this is why I also said that, that it's good to replace it. As you can see, I'm just placing the concrete and it's the wood's just being pulled into my inventory and the concrete's going down. It's it's a whole lot easier than the way it than if, than having to dig, replace, dig, replace, dig, replace. Upgrading is a lot easier than first initial place. So use your wood to plan out your craft and then craft. So this is the Gatling turret. As I, as I said before, as you can see with this little tiny um, beacon, if you remember from before, um, the um, this turret had a 360 circle. This has this tiny thing. Well, what he does is he shoots in this direct line. He does not. He will not. He won't. He won't. Uh, he won't orientate himself in directions. He won't even switch right, right, left and right. But by pressing R, I can switch him. But since the bad guys have to come through here to get to me unless they dig. It's automatically perfect for me. The other thing I want to do if I go into here is, buy, is get some concrete backwalling. The reason I need backwalling is that backwalling will actually make it to where um, the bad guys can't spawn in my base, which they can right now since I don't have any backwalling. We're gonna go explore it a little bit. We have. We have we don't have much time, but we have some time. But the Mark II um, collector thing, collector, can be used on stone. Until you have the Mark II, you cannot mine stone, so you can't get iron like I am right now. Another bit that I like more than tar Terraria is I can mine underneath the tree, and it automatically breaks the entire tree and the block. So that's a quick way to get dirt and wood if you're trying to get dirt and wood. Um, ignore the fish, try to avoid them, but you might you pretty much need to ignore them because they don't, you can't kill them right now. I've never been able to kill them, they regenerate far too quickly. That also might be a clue to the fact that they have what's called regeneration organs inside of them. I need to get some more stun. One way you can kill them is that if you can get them into a shallow, into shallow water, which I might be able to if I... Oh, this was a bad idea. Oh, crap! <laughs> We're getting rain, but there's like, um, islands above me that's keeping me from getting rained on, as you can see. That might be another idea, is build your base underneath one of these islands. This is one of the tropical downpours that you get in this game. Where I'm getting a ridiculous amount of water. That's why I have that drain there, because my base could still fill up even with this amount of water. <laughs> even with my planning against it. Alright, so now I can get this. 
But yeah, so you can get these, and then you can just do that, and it places them. I don't have nearly enough, but I'm going to go mining down here instead. I don't want to mine out this area, because obviously that means that my base will be more um, vulnerable to attack. One thing I can do is I can replace it with dirt, but eventually you even start running low on dirt, unless you go mining a lot. Which, again, you have to plan yourself out. You have to be able to defend yourself in the night, because you'll be attacked no matter where you are in the world. At night, you'll always get attacked. And the bad guys get stronger as you go deeper. They also get weirder, too. There's a few bad guys I've seen that, are, that scared the crap out of me the first time I saw them. Even though a few of them I saw in the um, uh, preview, a few of them were... I've never seen them before. It's really creepy. But, so we're almost... So... Um, we're almost to the next night. Um, judging by the amount of time that had passed the first time... Yeah, after the next night, I'll probably call it. It'll be a shorter than normal episode, but... I meant to buy stone. I meant to buy back holding, not concrete. Well, if I have the concrete, I might as well upgrade my defenses a little bit more. bar that just appeared above my head is my oxygen. In this game, your character does have an oxygen meter. Um, after that meter goes all the way down, he'll start taking damage. They'll start taking damage. Um, the game is multiplayer. I'm going to try and get some other people to join me in playing it, as I've really enjoyed this game. And it's not that expensive. You don't need to worry, like I said before, you don't really need to worry about taking damage as long as you don't take a hole, as long as you're not like letting yourself die. I've only drowned underwater because I died. because I chose to, because I didn't want to, because I was so deep underground and I was just out exploring, looking at the world, trying to find more creatures, trying to figure out where that red fern is. Like I said, um, not that, not that, this one. This is the, what I'm missing. I cannot find it, and that's what's keeping me from advancing any further with this game. So, once I figure that out, we'll be able to get a little bit further. I'll be playing, I'll probably be recording these if I do plan on doing a Let's Play of this. Much like before, we move into the night. I'm not nearly, I'm not anywhere near nervous about this night. It's not going to be a problem. These guns are more than enough to take down the creatures I've, I've angered, and they might not even find their way in, which it looks like. Oh, here they come. Come on. Come on, drop your power crystals and your coagulated blood, I think it's called. Thank you. Let's go outside and fight. As long as you don't as long as these are the only creatures you're fighting, you shouldn't have to worry about the night. They're not that difficult to kill. And their AI doesn't seem like it's perfectly been made yet. The kickback on the gun's more annoying than useful right now. The shotgun gives you enough kickback that you can actually use it for like high jumps. Oh, now we got a challenge. Come on, guys. Oh, that wasn't much. But yeah. Triple A wall to double air. 
So we'll clear out these bad guys and then I'll call it. So what's going on here is that these are the guys are from the knights from the night uh, from the night raid. They're trying to get in and destroy me because they're because they were supposed to destroy me last night. They couldn't. Is that too pro? <laughs> Come on. Oh, are you gonna? He's gonna try and dig through the dirt. I'm gonna go outside and dig him out. There we go. So we'll continue working on this. But basically, every night you, during the day, you collect resources. You can collect resources at night too, but you're more likely to be um, trying to defend yourself. Right now, you're the main protection. And the way I, and what I mean by that, and this will be the, um, like I said, this is going to be my ending recut to information about this. But you're the main protection. If you die, the game's over. It's permadeath. You aren't coming back. Um, I don't know if there's a way to fix that, if to change that, or if that's how it's going to be the entire game, but that's what it is. Once you die, it's game over. You have, you have, it's up to you to survive. Like I said, it's multiplayer. I don't know if it's, if in multiplayer, if you die, you die. It's permadeath. Um, I don't know if it's, if all of you die. I don't know if you have a respawn time. What I think they should do is that if, uh, on multiplayer, it should be a respawn time. I don't know, though. I haven't up. Like I said before, I haven't played multiplayer yet. I hope to play multiplayer because this game seems really fun, and it seems like it'd be a really bl it'd be a blast to do together, especially if you could do more than two people. Like I said, I haven't done any of the multiplayer stuff. So, but for now, this is the end. Um, if you if you um, want to play this game, like I said before, it's a Steam game, um, early access right now, so it's. I think it's like $5.99. It's kind of cheap. Game's pretty good so far of what I've seen. Um, it's I don't know how much they've developed it. I don't know how much more they're going to develop it. They say it's early access now, so I don't know if that's early access. We're still trying to work out bugs, or if that's early access. We're still trying to um, we have more features we want to add. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do with this. I really like the game so far. Um, but other than that. Um, Hit that like button if you want to see more of this. Um, really, um, leave a comment if you want if you want to know anything specific. Um, if you had don't like this series, um, go ahead and hit, leave a dislike. Um, if nobody likes this series, I might not even keep it. But for now, um, I've been the Seven Swords. This has been Dig or Die. We are currently on day three, and so far we have done the dig, but we have not done the die. We'll see what happens next time if there if I continue this. But until then, see ya.